So the question I have for you is why did it take so long for the saddle hunting industry to bring a product to the market that would allow the saddle hunter to get into the sitting position and rest his knees on a flat surface? When I started saddle hunting, I don't know, like six years ago or something like that. Now, I decided not to use any type of knee pad and I was predominantly a leaner at that time. And when I did try to go into the sitting position, I'd put my knees into the bark and, and I realized that's a no-go. I've got to get something in between my knees and the tree bark. So I started using my backpack then and I'd put my backpack just off to the tree a little bit and then the waist belt of my Vario pack and now my MRK2 pack, that would become my knee pad. And, and that worked, but when I was in Missouri like four years ago or so, I had a big 10 point coming in and he was down a ridge behind me and I would was pushing off the tree and I was leaning back and one of my knees was on this this backpack and as I was pushing off hard in a full draw the backpack shifted and made a noise on the bark and the deer stopped in his tracks started started just getting a little edgy and as big deer do uh, if they don't like something they just ease out and he eased out and ended up running off and I never really even got an opportunity at him and I said well I'm done with that and so I ended up purchasing my knee pads these were the first ones I purchased the tethered knee pads and then I got my hands on some latitude knee pads as well and both of these are great knee pads top of the line knee pads um, I like both of these companies but both of these knee pads have a flaw and same with all knee pads and the flaw is this that that on a circular tree when you're trying to put your knees into it your knees are not on a flat surface they're on an angle and now you're using some type of muscle whether it's a lot or a little to hold your position while you're in the sitting position and the bigger the tree the less you'll notice that but the smaller the tree the more you will notice that and I personally like trees, I don't know, about 10 inches in diameter. And I, I hunt even in trees a little bit smaller than this post that I have here in my little filming studio. And the smaller the tree, the more you notice that because you're always fighting to keep your knees on the actual tree. And, you know, it's not a flat surface. An hour hunt, two hour hunt, you might not notice it. But if you're doing like I have done eight to 10 days in Kansas every day on public land, you're running in and out and you're sitting in a, in a tree and your knees are on a tree and you're fighting, you do experience muscle fatigue over the longevity of hunting with knee pads. And so when Genesis 3D printing released their KPE last year, immediately I thought to myself, why did it take so long for the saddle hunting industry to bring an option to the saddle hunters that would give the saddle hunters a flat surface to put their knee against. And so in this video, I want to kind of break down the KPE, the knee pad eliminator. And I want to just discuss its features, what it's made out of, its specs, all of that, and kind of just give a video highlight of this product and bring it to you, my viewers. Let me cover the design real quick and some of the specs. When you measure the KPE, it is 12 inches wide and it's five inches from top to bottom. So you have 12 inches by five inches of a flat surface that you can put your knees on throughout the longevity of the hunt. I have found that when I was hunting, it was nice to be able to spread my legs out some and to have a consistent flat surface that, that I could just kind of dial into. Now, the other thing is, is from the table to the top of the EVA foam there, it is two and a quarter inches. So this is pretty packable. Matter of fact, for me, and, and I've always used the MRK2. Uh, it's just, I do that because this bag separates from the frame and I pack my deer out, but it very easily can fit down into this pocket, definitely the main pocket, um, just for idea, for the sake, when it's like this, I can even put this into my stretch pocket here on the side and I could just work it down in there as much as it would go, get it around that teeth. And you could see then my my strap would come around and hold it in. So I, f I feel like I feel like even though it's 12 inches wide by five inches high, I feel like the profile of it is is still good for packability. Now, on the top of the KPE, you got an inch of what they say is EVA foam. It's like a marine grade foam used for the outdoors, all of that. You can you can see as I, I push my thumb into it that there's definitely give and I noticed that when I was hunting into it, your knees do, do kind of sink into the foam, but it doesn't sink all the way to where you would feel this aluminum backing. And it, it, it provides a pretty, pretty rigid, but also comfortable 
uh, resting place for your knee. Now, in regards to this design, let me try to get my platform down here without getting up. Um, they designed in the back of this, it's simply a, an aluminum uh, sheet. They've milled out some teeth in there and stuff like that that go against the tree. But you'll see that right here, there's that, that little cutout. They designed that specifically for platforms such as the Predator, the Predator XL, uh, some of the trophy line platforms that when you're packing it, it just nests right there on that post. And so that reduces a profile as well. The KPE does come with a bungee cord system. I've never used it. Basically, on this end, you'll put the bungee cord through it, you'll tie it off, and then you can stretch that bungee cord around the back side of this platform. And on this side, there's T-post here, aluminum T-post, and you simply wrap it around and you hook that bungee cord on either the inside or the outside of that T-post. If the platform is smaller than the KPE, then you'll wrap it to the outside of the T-post. If it's larger, such if I was to use this Predator XL, if it's larger, I'd come around and wrap it to the inside of this T-post on the KPE, and then you'd be able to carry uh, the KPE in your platform like that, which is nice because most people, when they're climbing up, their platform is attached to their saddle, so you'd reach behind, you could get, get your platform, take the KP off, KPE off, attach it to the tree, so on and so forth. So there's a little bit of design features that they have incorporated into this KPE also. The KPE comes in at $75, which is also right up there in the price point of your premium knee pads, such as the Latitude knee pads, tethered knee pads, so on and so forth. And so it's not like if you were going to go this option that you'd be dumping even more money into you know, your setup than you would if you were just to buy regular knee pads. So that's something also that you would consider when thinking about the KPE. Attaching the KPE is simple. It's just like any other cam buckle strap you simply wrap it around the tree you hook the loop over the thing pull it tight and then from the back side you can you can go ahead and clamp that down like so and uh, i wanted to do a side picture so you can see the strap and stuff like that but as i was pulling that strap you could hear it bite into this this thing but this isn't i mean i could use this to rip rip this tree out of out of my fastened position like again this thing provides a lot of support when you do that cam buckle strap right taking it off is the same thing simple it's your standard cam buckle strap i've already given you one of the pros of the kpe and that is that it gives you 12 inches of flat surface to rest your knees on and so you can spread your legs out a little bit further you don't have to fight holding your knees into that place. You're not getting muscle fatigue from holding your knees onto the tree, especially on smaller trees. But the other thing that I want to point out is me and my daughter were hunting in Indiana. And I remember we got up to the tree where it was just prime. It was optimal. You know, you, you can't always select what the tree looks like at the optimal spot. You might have a big limb overhead. And so you're forced to come down the tree a little bit or vice versa, or go up the tree a little bit. There might be a big knot in the tree as which was the case for us in Indiana. And I remember setting this thing and I had to work around the knot. And I'm like, man, I feel just a little bit of movement. I looked down and I realized that part of the teeth wasn't touching and I could move it. But I realized also how big of a pro that was because with knee pads, you can't always, again, pick the best tree because of limbs above you, beneath you, or maybe limbs out here that you have to get up or you know above or below. And so I, I was sitting there and I, I got some film of this where we're sitting in the tree and it's on a very uneven surface of the tree, but yet my knees still are provided a flat surface. So there's no fighting the knot. And I was able to, even though there was some movement in it, it was fastened to the tree very securely. And again, just provided me with great comfort when I'm sitting there in a very unfavorable part of that tree. And so that's another pro is that in unfavorable tree conditions, you can still put this to the, to the bark of the tree, onto the tree, and you have a flat surface to be able to sit into and provide comfort. So I really enjoyed that about the KPE. I also have found that when you do this cam buckle strap right, this thing will lock onto the tree and you could even, if you wanted to, you could push off the back side of this and it's still going to be secured to the tree. So it attaches to the tree nicely. It provides you with a relaxed sitting position and it also gives you extra flexibility or extra comfort even in unfavorable tree conditions such as a big knot in the tree or something like that. All right guys, I'm grinding it out here in Pennsylvania. Second to the last day of rut. 
And I know that I'll be doing a review on this, so I figured I'd just film it with my iPhone real quick. One of the things that I really like about this um, Genesis 3D printing knee pad is if I had knee pads, you can see right here where there's this bulge in the tree and then it dips down in. And actually you can see that these teeth are not touching the tree. And so it takes a very uneven surface and it makes it even. So I got three points of contact. I got this one, the bottom, and then this bottom, this bottom tooth here, but this isn't, and you can watch, watch it bend. So like, it's not going anywhere. Like I could not, I could not move that one way or the other. It's locked in there tight and it has some bend to it. Um, again, you're not moving that. So I like that because regardless of how uneven the tree is, you'll always be on a solid flat plane. And so I'm really enjoying this thing for sure. We've covered the pros. Now let me talk on one of the cons and it might not even be a con. That's all perspective to whoever is using this. I think to the minimalist, when they see that this weighs six ounces more than the latitude knee pads, then they're going to balk at that, right? Uh, it weighs almost 10 ounces more than the tethered knee pads. But for me, there's a, there's a balancing act that, that I have to play. And that is I could go the lightest option, but the lightest option isn't always the most comfortable option. So I would prefer comfort over a long term, you know, hunt rather than me saving six ounces or even 10 ounces. I'll shave 10 ounces somewhere else. Maybe, maybe I won't take my flashlight or, you know, knife or something like that. I can shave 10 ounces. For me, I would prefer to be comfortable in the tree over the longevity of my hunt. So again, that's all perspective. That would really be the only con that I have been able to see at this point in time. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure maybe somebody would balk at having to set it up when they're up in the tree or something. I, I don't know, but the weight would be the only con. I would suggest also for the one stick climber, if you one stick climb with your knee pads on and you're climbing the tree and you generally put your knee in the tree, well, if you ditch your knee pads, then you're going to notice that you might have to adjust your climbing method. But when you get to the top, set this up, I think it would be well worth it. Uh, for me, a suggestion for Genesis 3D printing, I would like to try out a model that added two inches to each side of this, add it four inches. So instead of 12, let's go 16 inches because even at 12 inches when I sit, yes, it's more comfortable than my knees being into the tree. It provides more comfort and stability on an unfavorable tree condition, but I still, when I sit my comfortable position, I'm probably, if I was to measure from center of the kneecap to center of the kneecap, I'm probably out at that 14, 15 inches, right? And so I would like to see an XL model for those that are bigger guys, you know, that they could get and they could try it. I think providing the comfort, even though it adds a little bit more weight, I think to some people that would be well worth it. If there's something that I haven't covered and you got a question about this particular, uh, product, the KPE, drop it in the comment section below. And until next time, thank you for watching and good luck to you.